Minnesota redistricting maps released today are splitting county lines, redrawing Senate, House and Congressional districts and pairing incumbents against each other. Jimmy Aldonath explains what these new maps mean for northern Minnesota district lines and which area reassignments will affect local lawmakers. The state of Minnesota got quite the makeover today. It's big news. Of the 67 Senate, 134 House and 8 congressional districts, many were split, altered or moved completely, reassigning some legislators to different districts and in some cases pairing them with other incumbents. We're really looking forward to uh, the new district that uh, I'm going to be running for. It looks like about the only thing that's new for me is picking up Grand Rapids. Most of the district is, is my old district. District 4 Republican Senator John Carlson will be paired with the District 3 DFL Senator Tom Saxhog in District 5. The biggest challenge for me is going to be changing the number on my sign. And District 5A will pit District 4A DFL Representative John Purcell and District 4B Republican Larry Howes against each other. I'm real excited the fact that I have the city of Bemidji. I've never had a large city. Uh, in my district before. It looks a lot like my district and I'm, I'm comfortable running in my district. And running against each other in the newly redrawn Grand Rapids area district 5B are Republican Representative Carolyn McElfatrick of District 3B and DFL Representative Tom Anzels of District 3A. I think that's really what it'll come down to is, is what uh, what are voters thinking in that district? These changes come after a judicial court determined that Minnesota's population was not subdivided equally among state legislative districts, according to 2010 census data. Did what they felt they was the right thing to do, and, and I'm. I can accept that. The new maps created 23 open seats and matched up 42 incumbents in House and Senate districts. You, you, you just never know, and you, and you deal with the cards you've been dealt and go from there. I guess it'll just be interesting. But for now, lawmakers will have to wait and see how these new state lines play out for Minnesota politics. Jamil Donath, Lakeland News. And the line between congressional districts 7 and 8 was slightly altered, making a portion of the Bemidji area part of District 8 now. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.